What's up guys? This is Crazy Simulator here and uh, we're doing another video on Horizon Zero Dawn. In this video we're going to be doing, um, I think we're going to be getting ready for the proving. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Just getting everything, you know, it's been a while like I said since I played this game. So I'm kind of getting used to everything again. But yeah, we're going to be going and uh, getting ready to do the proven so yeah I hope y'all guys enjoy the video um, this is not going to be a long video this is going to be one of the shorter videos or whatever because I'm just getting ready because when well, I'm tired and uh, I just want to get ready for the proven so so time. are you ready yeah I hope y'all enjoy it and uh, yes if you like my content Please leave a comment it's and uh, like and subscribe. I've never been so close and before. Please enjoy the video. I guess everything's bigger up close. And y'all have a wonderful day. Soon it'll all seem familiar, like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads.
You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? have come to make amends. I won't deny them Interesting. the chance. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours. fit you perfectly uh, thank you tap i've never had anything like this before well it's yours i think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing every outfit offers some advantage it's always a trade-off anyway i shouldn't keep you any longer head for the matriarch's lodge if you want to find tirsa you'll know it when you see it a large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. 
Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. The matriarchs are supposed to be wise and calm. Well, I heard him arguing like a couple of children the other day. Hi, Aloy. Decided to do some shopping. Goodbye for now. And good luck in the proving. Hello, Aloy. What do you have in mind? Goodbye for now, and good luck in the proving. You really think the card you want to make peace? Ah. Red rays will come again. You wait. to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Listen carefully now. Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! Such talent. A gift from all mother. They lived alongside each other. They took of her bounty. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man.
So, Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <clears throat> an annunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th luminance of the radiant line It's for the God of the Judge. Not me. Past is left in the past. Unknown device detected. The Karja stand with you. I almost must enjoy myself with those poor twisty Karja faithless hanging about for fading the land. He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down, I doubt it. 
Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Owen? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe?